when I was in school, math was one of my best subjects. I was like the top student when it came to all things math related, right up until the third grade, because I was absent on the day that they introduced fractions, and I came back the next day, and everything was different. Numbers were in parts, and it made no sense to me. And like, since that day in third grade, I did nothing but play ketchup and mustard. Then I got to the eighth grade, and in the eighth grade, they started putting numbers into our math. And no, that didn't make sense to me as an eighth grader. And so I asked my math teacher, why do I need to know this? And she said, you will need it in your whole life. And I said, explain. And she said, no, you'll just need it. And I said, I don't think I'm gonna need this, so I'm not gonna try or learn. Which, admittedly on my part, was kind of a snotty eighth grade attitude to have, but on her part was also a total failure to explain the usefulness of math, which is something that's incredibly important and useful and relevant no matter what you do in life. So I became an English major where I'd never have to deal with math again. The math class I took in college was literally how to read barcodes. I say all this because as I got older, I switched from my eighth grade attitude of math is stupid to the attitude of, oh, I kind of wish I would have paid more attention and learned math. So cut to last November when this little guy came into my life. This is a $200 3D printer. It's like the cheapest one you can buy almost, but it's shockingly good. I was a little curious about 3D printing. It just seemed interesting to me and I wanted to learn how to do it and I decided to buy a little 3D printer. A month later, I ended up with a second 3D printer. Two months later, I ended up with another 3D printer, which is currently in my classroom at school. And then a few months later, I ended up with this, which is one of the best 3D printers you can buy and was also significantly more expensive. Now, the point of this video isn't to just tell you about my baller 3D printer status. 3D printers were like my gateway drug into math that I never had before. And maybe that can be a useful story or concept to others. What 3D printers did was they provided a very practical, real world application of mathematical concepts. Everything from simple stuff like measurements and temperatures, all the way up to like 3D modeling and unit conversion and, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm still pretty bad at math, but these hook me in because they're so practical. They, they, they fit my hands-on like learning style, my kinesthetic learning style, which meant that I could take these abstract concepts and throw them into a practical application and really understand why they matter. Initially, I got into 3D printing as like my escape from work, but of course, immediately I ended up with a 3D printer in my classroom kind of just for fun. I don't really know why, and I was sort of figuring out how to use it. And then last year, I took my students to a screening of a movie called My Life as a Cucumber. They got to meet the director, and he had his puppets that he used in the movie with him. In his movie, they 3D printed the skeletons for their figures, so that way they could have like 40 of them at once and be filming all these different scenes at the same time. But also, if something broke or got damaged, they could just replace the part really easily and move on. And I, that's when it hit me where I was like, oh, there's an application in what I do with digital media. And with students, especially in any kind of creative environment, the goal is to just inspire curiosity in some way. And having a 3D printer like buzzing away on the side of the room, making something starts conversations, which then gets kids asking how they can do it, which then suddenly makes them very willing to learn these AutoCAD programs and 3D modeling and slicers and all this stuff, which is fantastic to me. These have also been the perfect wormhole between my program, which is like a digital media, digital arts program, and our school's engineering and robotics program, which are usually two totally different sides of the brain because you have the engineering side and the artsy side. Because the digital arts media kids use the 3D printer to create art projects and then they kind of like realize they might actually have an aptitude towards math and engineering. And then the engineering kids who don't oftentimes view themselves as creative, use the 3D printer, and then they realize they can do creative things with it, and then they come to the creative side. And so they're just so effective in terms of inspiring curiosity and engagement with students at so many levels. So here's my whole point with today's video and my story about being good at math, bad at math, and then into 3D printers. When I first got interested in these things, they had no application anywhere else in my life whatsoever. And my goal was actually to keep them totally separate from my work life as kind of an escape. However, just seeing how this thing connects to this thing to this thing means that it all kind of merged together into one thing. And that's like, I don't have a lot of complex strategies for how to be successful at things, but 
being curious and following your curiosity is pretty much my number one method because you never really know how things are going to connect down the line. So buying a 3D printer because you're kind of interested in it, taking students to go see a movie, and then suddenly there's this whole thing where now it's totally connected and there's an application for 3D printers in a digital media and digital arts program. Those kinds of things, you can't plan those situations. And that's always been my goal is just to sort of follow curiosity regardless of where I think it's going to go. And that's, I mean, this channel is called The Enthusiasm Project. And so my goal is to share and explore things that I and others are really enthusiastic about. And that's what this is. So hope you enjoyed it. I'm always happy to answer questions about 3D printers if you have any. So send them my way. And if I don't know it, I'll find the answer or at least try to go down downstairs.